Kilala nyo ba si Batman? Alam nyo ba na mayroong Batman Cactus? Well, kung interesado ang malaman kung ano ang Batman Cactus, ano pang hinihintay nyo? Let's go! The hell are you supposed to be? I'm Mr. Rich PH. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. By the way, I'm Mr. Rich, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to talk about the Gymnocalisium grigio pallidum, most popularly known as the Batman cactus. Yes, tama po, meron pong Batman cactus. And as a comic fan who loves the Batman, that's why I made a reaction video to the Batman trailer. Unfortunately, na COVID po yata si Robert Pattinson, so medyo na delayed filming. That's why, para pang pakonsuelo, I bought not just one, but two Batman cactus from two different sellers. So before I share everything about the Batman cactus, let's do a rollback last week and let me show you the unboxing. There you have it, the Gymnocalisium grisio pallidum or the Batman cactus. As you can see, in air dry ko parin sila dito sa shot glass. <laughs> Let me show you the roots. Air dry ko sila for one week because I trimmed the roots. So as you can see, um, I trimmed the roots and left at least one inch. Speaking of the roots, I have to commend the seller on my cacti because sa lahat na nabilang ko ng cactus online, sila yung mga may pinadalang cactus na napakalinis ng roots because I bought other cactus from them as well and lahat talaga malinis yung roots. I think what they do is they wash the cactus first before air drying it. Anyway, I'll put the link of both sellers on the description box below because both of them sent healthy and properly air dried cactus naman. As to why I trimmed the roots and left at least one inch, because may nabasa po ako from a certain Japanese cactus expert who heavily promotes root trimming. Because he said na ang mga cactus, when they reach a certain age or size, like this, medyo bumabagal na po yung growth nila. So kapag nag-trim ka po ng roots, that will enhance or promote new growth. Anyway, samahan niyo po ako sa labas at iripat na natin ang ating mga bagong Batman cactus. Ito na po sila on their pots. By the way, I chose black pots because it's a Batman cactus. And now, let's talk about the price. This one, I bought for $199 from All My Cacti. And this one, I bought for $230 from Chiffon82. Siya nga pala, sa mga nagsasabi sa akin na medyo mahal yung mga nabibili kong cactus, 
Uh, I, I'm aware of that. Hindi naman po ako naive. Uh, years ago, nadadaan naman po ako sa farmers kubao. So, alam ko po na yung mga cactus you can buy for 3 for 100, 5 for 100, yung mga medyo mga maliliit, at pag nadadaan sa charm yung mga tindera. Or, yung mga uncommon naman po, you can buy for 100 to 150. Depende sa size kung medyo malaki na. But of course, the rare ones, talagang mahal na po siya kahit noon pa. Pero syempre po, nagkaroon po ng pandemya at medyo naging mahirap yung pag-travel ng mga plants from the provinces to the city. And nag-trending po yung mga halaman. So, that's the simple law of supply and demand. That's why I understand kung bakit po sila nagmahal. And as someone who can relate sa mga paghihirap po ng mga small entrepreneur around this time, I would like to support our local farmers and garden shops in my own little way. So, ano yung difference ng 30 pesos? Well, let me show you. So, here they are side by side. Ito yung 199, ito yung 230. As you can see, yung 230 medyo mas malaki and mas matured na. And if you're wondering why it's called the Batman Cactus, it's because of the spines. Itong sa regular sized, Medyo hindi pa prominent yung spine. But as you can see, sa mas matured na Batman cactus, makikita mo yung spine which looks like a bat. Or even yung batarang ni Batman. And you have to be careful kasi matigas siya talaga so it can really hurt you. As I said earlier, the scientific name is Gymnocalicium griseopolidum. So it's part of the Gymnocalicium family. But for some reason, Parang medyo mas masculine looking siya compared sa other gymnocalicium na cactus. Let me show you. So this is the Batman cactus. So compared to the other gymno, this one is a gymno damsi eye. Uh, gymno mihanovici green na hybrid. This is also a gymno mihanovici grafted. And a gymno horse dye that I'm air drying. Yung shape ng ibang gymno medyo mas may curve. Unlike the gymno grisio polyrum, which is the Batman cactus, mas mo talaga siyang masculine. By the way, the gymno calicium grisio polyrum hails from Santa Cruz, Bolivia, and it's a small growing cactus. You can propagate it by sowing seeds because nagbubulaklak din siya. Now for some care tips, it really depends kung saan po kayo nakatira. But like any desert cactus, it needs a lot of sunlight. Most probably like 5 to 8 hours of sunlight a day. It can tolerate direct sunlight but you can also grow them indoors as long as masisinagan sila ng araw kahit sa tabi ng bintana. As for watering, now that it's newly repotted, Maghihintay po ako ng at least one week bago ko po sila diligan. And then, after that, I will slowly acclimate it and introduce it to direct sunlight. Mas maganda po na sanayin nyo po muna sila at least kahit sa morning sunlight. Kasi yung sinag po ng araw sa umaga ay hindi kasing harsh ng sinag ng araw sa tanghaling tapat. But since tag-ulan po ngayon, medyo check nyo rin po yung mga cactus nyo if you need to suspend watering. Because as we all know, Ang mga cactus po ay nagdo-dormant stage po kapag malamig ang panahon and they actively grow during summer. So kung maaraw naman po sa lugar nyo at mainit, then you can water it once a week. Just be sure to check the soil is dry between watering. But sa amin po na maulan, dinidiligan ko yung mga cactus ko ng every other week or yung iba twice a month. Depende sa size at klase ng cactus. But to be honest, as a rookie in the cacti world, ang mga gymnocalicium na type ng mga cactus for me, is the best for beginners kasi hindi sila maselan at hindi sila nade-deform agad-agad at nag i kapag hindi sila naaarawan. I'll just do a separate video about etilulation ng cactus. So, if you're a comic fan and you love Batman and you wanna try to raise a cactus, then I can highly suggest this Batman cactus for you. One thing more, I like the fact that its common name is the Batman cactus because it makes it more appealing to the younger generation to know more about cactuses or even taking care of plants. Because as we all know, medyo nagiging busy yung mga youngsters sa mga video games and doing everything online. That sums up my video for today. I'm one happy kid with my new Batman cactuses and it really sparks joy in me. And I encourage you guys to do anything that will spark joy in you as well. 
whether it be gardening, fishing, reading books, or anything that will inculcate inductive thinking. I hope you enjoyed this video at kahit papano ay may natutunan po kayo about the Batman Cactus. And if you do, please try to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated on my future videos. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, it's your boy Rich, and I'll see you on the next video.